A few days ago I made a video about the new discovery in Saqqara, Egypt. The Saqqara necropolis was a burial ground for the ancient capital city of Memphis, which lies south of Cairo. In that video I spoke about how archaeologists had uncovered 27 sarcophagi from a burial shaft. Today I return to you with this video, as Egypt's tourism and antiquities minister Khaled El Enani said that the archaeologists had uncovered another 32 sarcophagi. He spoke at the famous Step Pyramid of Djoser in Saqqara at a news conference where the coffins were found. Forty of the found sarcophagi have been displayed and one of them was opened to show the mummified body inside. Several foreign diplomats attended the announcement ceremony. The mission to excavate the site started two months ago. At first they found 13 sarcophagi, then they discovered another shaft which housed another 14 coffins. And after that they found yet another shaft which housed another 32 coffins, making the total count of sarcophagi 59. Almost all of the sarcophagi have mummies inside of them and have been buried more than 2600 years ago. This means that this is the largest discovery of sarcophagi in Egypt in over a century. El Enani said that today is not the end of the discovery. I consider it to be the beginning of the big discovery. Adding, there is another unknown number of coffins that have yet to be unearthed in the same area. A sealed door was also unearthed, where it's expected more mummies may lie behind, said El Enani. The artifacts and sarcophagi are in an excellent state of preservation and bear their original colors. Mustafa Waziri, the Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities said, initial studies show that the decorated coffins were made for priests, top officials and elites from the pharaonic late period, from 664 until 525 BCE. Although there is still much work to be done to identify who was buried there. The mummified remains most likely would have been subject to ancient Egypt's complex burial practices after they had died, which includes having their brain removed with an iron hook. Waziri said that the archaeologists had uncovered 28 statuettes of Ptah Soker, the main god of the Saqqara necropolis, and a beautifully carved 35 cm long bronze statuette of the god Nefertum, inlaid with precious stones. The name of its owner, priest Badi Amun, is written on its base. They found a collection of amulets and an Ushapti figurine as well. The Ushapti was a funerary figurine, placed in tombs among the grave goods and were intended to act as servants or minions for the deceased should they be called upon manual labor in the afterlife. Khaled El Enani said that the newfound sarcophagi will be showcased in the new Grand Egyptian Museum which Egypt is currently building near the Giza pyramids. I'm personally impressed that COVID-19 didn't stop the archaeologists from unveiling more secrets from the great civilization that was once ancient Egypt. Since they held the news conference near the Step Pyramid of Djoser, I thought you might want to learn more about it. I've made a video in the past about the Step Pyramid of Djoser and the funerary complex surrounding it. All of this is in the vicinity of the area in which the new discoveries have been made. I'll put that in the end card and in the description down below. And of course, I'll be sure to make a follow-up video once more information comes out or when additional finds have been made. If you enjoyed watching then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet then click the card in the upper right corner or click the link in the description down below. 
But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. And of course, a special thank you to my patrons, Richard and Barry.